और काफी है Where did my regular Osmo go? Where did it go? Wow, wow. I know where it is. I cleaned my truck. My truck is pretty clean. It's cluttered, but it's clean. It has that nice pine saw scent going on in here. I cleaned and scrubbed the floors yesterday. I didn't armor all, but I did Windex. I know you're probably not supposed to use Windex on your dash and stuff like that, but I did. Just to get rid of some of the dust because I have electronics and stuff, my TV, uh, my different Osmos and stuff like that, and cameras and electronics that, that I don't want to get dusty. So I dusted, cleaned my floors, took my regular Osmo off the window and put it back in the case because I don't use it on a daily basis, only on special occasions. So I put it back in the case. I probably will use it a couple times before January when I fly out to Las Vegas, definitely. But for the most part, it doesn't need to be on the window over there. If I'm going to hit a roadside attraction, it only takes two or three minutes to set it up and put the Z-axis arm back on it and stuff like that. So I put it all away and uh, kind of cleaned a little bit. I've been sitting here for three days watching TV shows that I never knew existed, like The Exorcist television show, which is not as good as the movie, but it's not too bad. I think because it's on network television, I think it, I think it's on Fox. I use Droid TV, so I turn my devices into DVRs and I just download current episodes of TV shows. So I've watched The Exorcist, and I did put it on reoccurring download, download new episodes, so I will continue watching that. But the mind-blowing show that is actually pretty good, and I would say comparable, if not better, to the movies... Is Lethal Weapon. What a surprise. I, I'm, I watched episode one, the pilot, I'm, and all the way through the current ones, which I think there's only four episodes now. Pretty good TV show. I don't know what ne network it's on, but wow. Uh, I like how they go into Riggs' backstory a lot more with uh, the death of his wife and stuff like that. I, I really like that. It, 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 it's turning out to be a pretty good and funny television show. So I got my coffee got my coffee and in route back look what I found on the ground look what I found it's a receipt and no it's not for McDonald's let me put my coffee down check this out this, I'm in the state of Washington for another day I get to go unload my load here in about my appointments at six o'clock it's one o'clock now. I could check in two hours early, so I'm just going to stay here for a, a short amount of time before I drive over to the Walmart distribution center. And then I'm picking up tomorrow, heading back to Orlando. It's going to be a long drive and also three more days of zero cell phone service. So I'm warning you guys, these videos may not get uploaded for the next three days, or they may. It just depends on if I could find a Wi-Fi hotspot somewhere. But from that McDonald's right there and it is from a store that is right here on this side of the street there's a receipt for altitudes I think that's what it's called altitude not altitudes that would mean multiple altitudes this is just altitude is, is the camera going to focus front facing camera focus it may not focus but I could read it to you I found this mind blowing I still think it's crazy and awesome that certain things, certain states let you be an adult. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, I was just texting somebody that posted on my cannabis store video that uh, I didn't feel dirty or uh, you know weird walking into the store to explore it and try and document it. Even if I couldn't document it on video, I was able to document what I've seen through my eyes as I went through the store after I left the store. And, uh, yeah, I didn't feel dirty like if I was going into a, an adult bookstore or something like that, where I don't think I would feel comfortable walking in and purchasing something, uh, you know, I'd, whatever, whatever you buy inside the adult bookstores, 
you know, walking up to the cash register, it would be kind of embarrassing, right? I, I don't know. I just, I, I would find it kind of embarrassing. If I lived out here, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be embarrassed walking in here because the stores, uh, they're not like the news media make them out to be. They're clean, nice. The patrons that walk in there, uh, they didn't look like gang members or, or, uh, criminals and stuff like that. They were just like everyday normal people walking in. I said, they have a couch right next to the cash register. You could just kind of kick back. I sat there and I just watched for about five minutes. People walk in, walk out the interactions between the store clerks and the people purchasing stuff. And it wasn't seedy. It wasn't like stuff done in dark alleys. It was kind of cool. And here's a receipt from that same store that I, I documented from yesterday. And I'm assuming this is marijuana because it's a receipt for marijuana. It's a receipt for marijuana, I'm assuming, because it says here, Lemon Jack. Lemon Jack 4G. So, for, when I was a kid, everything was done by grams. So I'm assuming that means four grams. Right? I don't know. It's been so many years since, since I've been, it's been, I graduated high school in 1984. And then I, I joined the army. And right after, went to Iraq. And I did all that stuff back when I was in the army, high school, army, and stuff like that, so it's been a lot of years, so I'm not up on the lingo and stuff anymore, but I'm assuming that's what it is, 4G, lemon something, now the price on this one here, subtotal, $44.64, can you see that, $44.64, tax, what do you think the tax on a $44 purchase would be. Let's say you go in and you buy a $44 t-shirt. That's a pretty expensive t-shirt. But you would expect $44, what is it normally? 6 or 7%. So $44, you're looking $3 tax maybe? Would that be? $4 at the most would be 10%. So let's say it's 10% tax in some states, but I know it's not. So you're looking at 3 or $4 on a $44 t-shirt. On a $44 purchase of this, $20. 20 $20.36 in tax on a $44 purchase. That's almost half. That's almost 50% tax. Is alcohol like that? I, I haven't bought I haven't walked into a liquor store and bought alcohol in quite a few years neither. But I never look at the receipts. So I don't know if this is way more than alcohol tax? I'm curious. I might have to walk into a liquor store and buy something small when I get home. I don't I don't normally do that. If I'm gonna the very few times a year that I do partake in adult beverages, it's usually once every couple months when I go home. I go to Universal Studios and hang out at City Walk. And you don't really see the tax because you're just buying it by the drink. I don't walk into stores and buy alcoholic beverages. But I might have to just to see what the tax is on that. So a $44.64 purchase total comes out to $65. So you're, you buy $44 worth of stuff, your bill is $65 even. That's, that's a lot of tax. So if any government officials out there are having second thoughts about legalizing that in states, I would think twice about it. That's a lot in taxes. And if 90% or more of American people will walk into the stores and purchase that, you know how much tax money you guys are losing out on? Do you know? That is insane. I'm thinking about keeping this. I'm thinking about keeping that as a souvenir from the state of Washington. Prosser, Prosser, Washington. Boy, I wish the front camera would focus. Is it gonna focus on that? Let's see if I touch. Touch there. No, that doesn't focus. What that does is it makes a tracking watch. Watch. Oh, no, that's not it. I 
it doesn't track. Let's see here. Maybe I have to do this. It does. Look, my phone tracks my receipt. Ha, ah, that's so cool. I have This Osmo is awesome. Oh, now I had to take, oh, no, no, it's trying, my phone is trying to find the receipt. But I just think, well, the Osmo is actually more awesome. Whoa, come here, you. There you go, turn back towards me, turn back. There we go, I'll just keep it here. The Osmo is more awesome than this receipt, definitely. Well, since I have about two more hours to kill, I figured I'd pull up here next to the drive through window at McDonald's because it's raining. Hopefully it doesn't turn to snow. I don't think it's going to, at least down here in the valley. But I figured get as close to the building as I can for my refills because I'm assuming in two hours I could drink quite a large sum of McCafe. Made it. Three days later, I drove two miles and I made it to my destination, but still won't let me on the property yet because I'm two hours early. So I've been sitting here for three days, decided to come over here just a little bit early, hoping they would let me on the property, but nope, I have to sit out here on the road for another two hours, just like every truck delivering tonight. Oh. I made it into a door, finally. 8.30 at night. Almost four solid days of sitting here trying to get these butterball turkeys out of my trailer. Finally, it's happening. I feel the shakiness. Can you, did you see that? See everything shaking? My truck is shaking. They're taking the butterballs out of my trailer. I got the green light at 10 o'clock at night. Uh, I'm still waiting for my buzzer to go off, but I got a long walk up to the front, so I'm just going to go ahead and do a preemptive strike and head that way. I've passed up other drivers that are walking back without paperwork in hand. They're walking all the way back there, waiting for their buzzers to go off, and then they're gonna have to walk all the way back this way. I'm just gonna sit up here. I'm not in a big rush. Oh no, I am in a big rush. I just don't wanna be walking back and forth, back and forth. Also, I believe there is a restroom in here. Did it, got my papers, heading back to the truck, hook up, and then I got like a 15 minute drive to where I need to be for tomorrow morning to pick up a load heading back to Orlando. Not too bad. I just wish I didn't have to have sitting here for three days. Well, basically four days now. I've been here for four days and tomorrow will be the fifth. Oh. Oh. Done. All done. Well, I made it to my pickup. It's nice and late, so I figure I'm going to catch a little bit of Z's, wake up bright and early in the morning, upload today's daily vlog, even though there wasn't too much to record on it, just because there was, it's the location, it's where I was. There was nothing to do. But starting tomorrow, I'm leaving Washington, I'll be in Oregon, Idaho, Utah, Wyoming, Nebraska, so I should be able to find some fun stuff to vlog even while I'm getting loaded with 43,000 pounds of holiday apples for everybody's delight down in Florida. I might, I'm gonna capture that on video, show you guys what I'm getting loaded with. But today was a total bust. The last two days have been not very good, and I do apologize. It, it's been making me think, well, maybe I should not do a daily vlog because sometimes there's just nothing to record. Yet, I put this pressure on me to try and find something to record rather than me just talking to you like this. And I know it's not what you guys want to see. I mean, would I want to see it? Probably not. 
so it's making me doubt whether I should be doing a daily vlog or maybe just doing a couple vlogs a week but I did create this channel and name it specifically the daily vlog and I don't think you could go back and change the name of the channel so I'm pretty much just by naming the channel I locked myself into a daily vlog channel unlike my other channel which is the almost daily vlog channel which is what I should have just kept but that's okay I'll just just you guys know that every once in a while I'm gonna have a clunker of a video much like this one so if you unsubscribe I understand but I hope you don't and I will talk to you all tomorrow peace everybody